Hey guys, Pixeldip here, and for the first video of the day, I thought I was going to do something that I've been meaning to do for a long time, because all you guys in the comment section of my Pixelmon series, especially the Pixelmon Alola Survival series, that one there, have been like flooding me with basically the same question, and it's how do you install Pixelmon, and more importantly, the new Pixelmon, because apparently it doesn't work for a lot of you guys, there wasn't like clear tutorials on it. Uh, so yeah, today I'll be showing you guys the what I think is the simplest method for doing so. And I'll explain what I mean by the simplest method. And uh, so, obviously the two most important like websites for this, I'm going to guide you through the whole process, don't worry guys. But we got to start off somewhere, and that is the PixelmonMod.com website, and the Minecraft Forge website. Um, and I'll get to Forge in a second. But on the Pixelmon website, you just head on to the downloads page. Some of my videos are up on here, my uh, mod views, which is pretty cool. And so there are actually two ways to install Pixelmon. And one way is to click on the Pixelmon launcher for Windows Beta. Click on the download for that. And that will take you to download the Pixelmon launcher. And what this does is it basically lets you automatically, like, uh, if you have a Minecraft account... It lets you automatically install the Pixelmon mods and install all of your like Minecraft stuff. But the thing is about this that I don't like is that today, it basically like looking? creates a whole different jar file or like files folder from your Minecraft stuff. So if you had like worlds you had on Minecraft, it would take a while to transfer them all to Pixelmon. Um, and if you had like Optifine or different settings that you really liked on your normal Minecraft then you'd lose them if you convert it to the Pixelmon thing. So, I'm going to show you guys how you can install the Pixelmon the old-fashioned way, which uh, some of you guys might not know of, which is just the easy way. Um, I think it's the easy way, that is. And, uh, yeah, it's just the way to do it through without having to change all your Minecraft stuff. So, the latest version, um, I'm going to download the 1.8.9 version, because it's exa exactly the same as the... Uh, the 1.10.2 version it just has like more bugs or less bugs i'm not exactly sure um but the installation for other versions is going to be exactly the same so first off you want to download the pixmon version i think eton's video yeah eton's video is up here eton's a cool youtuber you can check him out if you want but yeah you download the pixmon so um that's going to take a little bit of time to download but i already have it pre-downloaded so uh i'll just cancel that for now and then, if you've never installed mods before, you're going to want to go to Minecraft Forge and um, head on. Since we're using 1.8.9, we're going to click on 1.8.9. If you're using 1.10, then you'd click on 1.10.2, cause uh, and then you would be able to download the recommended or download the latest. But I'm going to go for 1.8.9, download the recommender download the recommended version because that's probably the one with the least bugs so that was unexpected i just got an ad um blast at me but here we have the forge installed you just click skip the ad and now when you have that forge installed you can just click on it and then this thing will come up and you click on install client not install server or extract that's if you want to set up a server or just have the files somewhere in your folder and then you just leave it under your roaming.minecraft. That's if you've launched Minecraft and have Minecraft. Um, I'm going to assume that, you, that you've done both those already. So you click OK, and then it does all the downloading libraries. And then it says successfully installed client, blah, 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 blah. And then it says the Forge version. Um, so, and then you can head on to your Minecraft launcher, the normal one, which you use for 1.10 or whatever. Click on your profile. You don't need to change that. But then what you need to change is go on Edit Profile. You can make a new profile if you want and choose the version of Forge which you just installed. So the version of Forge that I just installed was the Minecraft one, the release 1.8.9, Forge 1.8.9, So that's the one I'm going to be able to use. Uh, I, I often use the 1.71s, but for today, I'm just going to use the uh, this, this Forge that I just installed to show you guys that it works. And uh, then I can go to Edit Profile, Open Game DIR, and then I want to make a... I already have several mods folders, but I'm just going to make a new one for the purpose of this video. So um, I'm just going to rename my old mods folder, we'll just call it... Which mods was it? It was uh, 
mods for my Yokai Watch series. Check it out if you want. Mods Yokai Watch. So yeah, that's fine. Um, and then you just make a quick. Oh, I, I'm I'm so smart. You just make a new folder in here if I if it will let me. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. So new folder. Call it mods. And then in this mods folder, you're gonna want to download the like in put in the version of Pixelmon which you installed, which I already installed. It is in my mods Pixelmon folder. Uh, and I have a lot of mods in here, but uh, yeah, you just chuck in the mods Pixelmon there, and there you go. The Pixelmon 1.8.9, 4.3.0, Beta 5 Universal. And um, if you don't believe me that this works, I'm just gonna not do anything, just gonna save profile, click play, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna show you guys that this does indeed work, and that this will launch Pixelmon, and everything will be awesome. So it's gonna take a little while to load. I'll be right back when it is loaded. All right, so it has indeed loaded. The way to check that you did load it is at the bottom. It will say powered by Forge, the version of Forge you installed. Now it'll say four mods loaded. That is good. It doesn't mean you have like shadow mods that you don't know. Even though if you only installed Pixelmon, it'll say it'll still say four. I don't know where I was going with that, but you can check your mods. Then it'll say Minecraft Coder Pack, my Forge Mod Loader, um, Minecraft Forge. Those are all good to have. Good signs, and then. It will say the mods that you have, namely Pixelmon, or any other mods that you'd add, which the only way you need to add them is just by heading into your mods folder and chucking them inside here. So if I wanted like custom NPCs, I'd just drag it after downloading custom NPCs. So yeah, I uh, already created a world called Proof that I can show you guys for uh, the, 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 the purpose of this video um, that I did indeed install Pixelmon and uh, using this tutorial, and you guys can do exactly the same thing pretty easily and uh so we we are indeed uh here let's just um wait for the world to load around us and then we'll be able to see the beauty the beauty of the pixelmon mod here it is you can already see some pokemon starting to spawn like uh over here we have a arbok the new texture for arbok very very cool looking ponita and a bunch of other awesome stuff if you are interested in Pixelmon, then you should definitely check out my Pixelmon Alola Survival Series. But uh, that is a little bit of shameless plugs there. And to prove you guys that this is the latest Pixelmon series uh, version, um, just to show you guys, you can Poke Spawn, let's say Medicham, because he was the newest added, and he will be right there. So, uh, yeah, that is how to install the newest version of Pixelmon for you my way, the easier and more customizable way, I believe. And uh, the way the reason I'm showing you guys this is first of all because I'm obviously like uh, I want to help you guys out. A lot of you guys have been asking me for this, and uh, oh, there's a flygon. <laughs> and secondly, I am working on a Pixelmon server project, which you'll find out more about in the in the future. So um, I want to make sure that you guys will be able to get Pixelmon by uh, by the time that that does indeed come out. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this. If you are new and this is your first video watching and you enjoyed it, helped, then please do subscribe for more epic Pixelmon content. It would mean a lot to me. And also just thumbs up the video and comment if this helped you out or if it did not and uh, why it did not or what your error was so I could try to help you some more. And uh, yeah, other than that, my name is Pixtip. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!